everyone. Welcome. My name is Rob. This is the Casually Fit Podcast. And um, yeah, I hope everybody's having a good day today. It is the beginning of November. It's Wednesday. It's hump day. It is the day after the election. I'm sure nobody has ever, I'm sure you haven't heard of the election going on. I'm sure uh, you haven't been on social media with a million people telling you to vote. Uh, but yeah, you know, by the time you're watching this, the world is either on... Um, you know, completely uh, destroyed, or everything's just fine. I'm going to guess that everything's just fine. So, either way, you know, um, that's what's going on today. Uh, Again, it is a wild time right now. It's hard to start this without talking about it, and that annoys me, right? That really annoys me because, you know, it's just, it it is what it is. Uh, But, you know, what I wanted to talk about today um, was back pain, right? Back pain for me is it hits a little close to home. And the reason why it hits a little close to home is because I have had back pain for a while. I've had back pain for a long time, actually. And um, right now, I'm just now getting over it. I'm just now getting through the back pain, uh, which for many people, you know, there's a statistic out there that like 80% of people will experience back pain in their lives. And, you know, I was somebody growing up, I mean, that's a huge number. It's a lot of us, 80%, it's a lot of people. And, um, you know, when I was growing up, I just didn't think, well, I kind of knew that some things were going to happen, you know, to my body as I got older. But as far as, like, having back pain to where it, like, renders you immobile and makes you, you know, not leave your bed, uh, you don't really uh, account for that too much, right? <laughs> but but that's what happened to me, right? That's what happened to me like a year or two ago. Uh, my back pain was at an all-time high. It was uh, very bad. I couldn't, as far as like being able to bend down, there's no bending down. If I tried to touch my toes, I couldn't reach past the middle of my shins. So that's kind of where it's at. And then also you know, any compression whatsoever on my, like if I put anything on my shoulders to carry, wasn't happening, right, and, um, and so yeah, it was all bad from there, surfing, surfing for me wasn't really happening then either, it was just all pain all the time, and um, that's where I kind of was like, you know, and I wouldn't suggest this, but I'm not really the type of person to go to the doctor, and so I didn't go to the doctor, and I just um, decided to look at my life, and I just realized, hey, hey, guess what, Rob? You're not exercising at all. You're not lifting weights. You're not running. You're not even walking. Uh, you're just working all the time. That's all you're doing, and and now you have this back pain. You're sitting in the chair all day, and you have back pain. To me, it kind of made sense. I was like, I'm not, I'm not stretching. I'm not doing anything. You know, my body is not active at all. And so that's where I got a little bit of an idea in my mind of where I said, all right, um, well, this might be an area that I can focus on right now. And then if I focus on these areas, then I'll go and see a doctor and see what's going on. For me, the doctor is the last resort because I always look at myself and figure out what am I not doing? You know, there. um, what can I do for myself, um, by myself, and then if that doesn't work, then then what can the doc do? What can doc do for me, All right? And uh, so you know, I'm I'm throwing out this podcast. I'm talking about this subject today to hopefully help people out there who do have back pain. Again, eighty percent of people out there will have back pain in their lives. Um, I'm throwing this out there just to let y'all know what I did. Uh, to alleviate this back pain. Now, should you follow exactly what I did? Probably not. I don't know. I mean, it worked for me. Uh, do I think it's going to work for you? I have no idea, all right? I have no idea what's going on with your back or whatever. So, uh, you know, for my suggestion first is probably go see a doctor, I guess, you know, and then, you know, for those of you who want to try a few of these things out. I'm not going to be talking about anything crazy. Uh, you know, cuz I didn't I didn't try to really break my back to fix it. There could be an argument. You you tell me um after you hear this, but um 
So again, so don't take this the wrong way. I'm not telling you to uh, ignore doctors. I'm not telling you to do anything wild, right? Um, I'm just letting you know what I did. And so first off, I should start off with you should know where the back pain kind of came from. And you can kind of uh, take in, you know, how it might be similar to your life possibly, right? So I would say for uh, most people, back pain comes from a very active youth um, or almost like a very inact. I think it comes from kind of both, you know, an active youth, uh, just from moving around a lot, uh, being a rambunctious person, and then also being somebody who just sat in a chair most of their lives. I think both um, ways of doing it can definitely lead you susceptible to back pain. So uh, for me, it was very rambunctious, right? It was very, I was always moving around. I was skateboarding, you know, since I was a kid. I used to I started skateboarding when I couldn't stand up. I used to cruise around on my knee and just push with my other leg. Uh, so I was skateboarding for a while. I would, you know, I've like grabbed onto the back of cars um, and cruise on a skateboard, like going like very fast, <laughs> you know, <laughs> like over 40 miles an hour and falling, you know, so that's, that's, you know, falling at a young age. Good thing with a young, uh, with youth, you bounce back real quick. But doing things like that, skateboarding all the time, going off jumps, going off stairs, um, doing BMX riding, going off jumps, falling, hitting rails, uh, snowboarding, same thing, going off jumps, falling. It's just a whole lot of airtime, and then sometimes I landed it. That was kind of my youth, right? So I went through a lot of that, and you know, so looking back at it, having back pain when I was like 28, 27, 28, not too surprised, um, but that was most of my youth. And then you throw in football, a lot of a lot of compression, a lot of um, a lot of hits, you know, a lot of just, you know, if you've played football, you already know. I mean, you're doing two a days. You got pads on, got the helmet smacking into each other all the time, running around all over the place. Um, yeah, so very um, hard on the body. And I played football ever since. When, whatever age, like the youngest age, where you still have flags, uh, that's when my parents threw me into football. And I played um, up until um, end of high school. And then, um, so yeah, so a lot of sports, a lot of moving around. And then I ended that up with the Marines. And then being in the Marines, it's a bunch of unnatural movements, you know, jumping around in Afghanistan with a flak jacket on with you know, you got a flak jacket with plates on the front, on the back, and on the side, and you're just bouncing around in Afghanistan, hoping not to hit an IED, and um, that, that definitely added to the back pain, and so, so that's kind of where it started, right, and I think that's, you know, if I can look back on, okay, where did my back pain kind of start, kind of started with that, and I think where it, um, came to a halt is actually, and this is a big uh, thing that I think a lot of people, if you're having back pain, you should think about this, right? And, and this is exactly what I thought of, um, is that, okay, very active uh, throughout my youth, not really any back pain going on throughout the Marines. And then all of a sudden, you know, very active. And then I slowly started um, reducing my activity. I started I stopped going to the gym as much. I stopped running. I stopped surfing as much. And I just, uh, no stretching, no yoga, no, no, none of that, right? And I slowly uh, started to uh, stop all of it. And then it came to a point where I did stop all of it. And, and a, a little while after that, that's where the peak of my pain started to come to. Um, and, that's where I think you guys start looking at uh, what's going on. Because if you're having back pain, well, first of all, you should know that uh, doctors, they've done, they've done studies, and um, they actually recommend. So if you have chronic pain, you know, because the general, um, the, the almost like preconceived notion or what people typically think of when they think of chronic pain and, and themselves with having chronic pain is that they need to limit their activity. They need to stop doing 
active things. They need to be on the couch more. Which, if you have an injury, yes, you should be chilling and resting for a little bit. Uh, but, you know, they actually, through studies, have shown that if you have chronic pain, you actually need to be more active. You actually uh, can't stop being active. Otherwise, you're going to open yourself up to more diseases um, and uh, more problems with with your pain and um, all these other things. So, so that's typically what most people think of with pain. And that's what I thought of uh, coming into the whole thing. It was just the pain was getting higher and higher and I was moving less and less. And I was like, in my mind for a little bit, you know, I was working a lot. So in my mind for a little bit, I was just like, eh, that's just kind of what's going on. And um, it sucks. And and I don't know, I was just kind of pushing through and I thought that maybe the pain would go away after a while. I'm not really too sure what. I was thinking back then, uh, but it was somewhere along those lines. And um, but either way, you know, it came to a point where, like, you know, I couldn't. There was one day I did something, and I literally couldn't leave my bed for two days. I was like, "What the? What is going on? I can't. This can't be my life. I'm like, I'm not even thirty yet. Hold on. Ah, oh, so thirsty. Um, I'm like, I'm not even thirty yet, and this is all going on." Uh, so that's when I decided, all right, what's going on? Looked at my life, and this is what you should do. What am I doing? What am I not doing? Where's the pain? Um, what what does or what uh, yeah what hurts on on my body? Like where does it hurt? Does it is it extremely painful? Can I not move? Is it dull pain? You know what's going on? Kind of assess the whole situation, and then start. Um, focusing well there's really like three areas you need to focus on uh the first area is how much are you moving your legs right how much are you living the sedentary lifestyle are you sitting around a lot uh so if you are i would suggest being like okay well my back hurts i sit a lot and i don't walk or run or jog ever right if you do it once a week not enough okay especially if you have back pain if you do it a couple times a week, still not really enough. All right. Uh, for me, uh, I, I recognize this and I said, I'm not walking, I'm not running, I'm not jogging, I'm not doing any of this. And this is where you need to learn from my mistakes. What I did was I said, okay, this is the first thing I decided. It was late December and um, I said, all right, you know what? No matter what happens, how much pain I'm in, it doesn't matter. For the next six months, I will run every single day without missing a day. Um, I will be running. And I did that for like eight months, right? And this is where you can, I don't think this was a smart, I think I probably could have um, uh, gone about it a little bit different way. Uh, but that's what I did, right? And it actually did help me out. My back um, got a lot stronger, but I wouldn't suggest this for you. But you see, that's just an example. That's what I did. What I suggest for you to do is if you're not moving around, moving your legs, doing any of that, go and start walking. I know. So boring to say. It's such bland advice almost. It's like, ah, eh, just go walk. You know, but it, it actually does help. Go start walking. If you don't want to do that or if it is a real struggle for you to walk, go get a gym membership and get on an elliptical. And if that's even too much, get a gym membership still. No matter what, I think everybody, you need to get a gym membership, right? Get a large corporation gym uh, membership, something that has a whole bunch of equipment, showers, get all that, right? Um, but get a membership and then start on a stationary bike, right? Go the lowest, uh, the lowest impact, impact that I can't talk. <laughs> Use... Uh, use the equipment that has the lowest impact on your body, which for your back is either going to be the stationary bike or the elliptical. I think the elliptical is probably going to be best for most people because, again, you're you're not um, it's not as strenuous on your entire body and you can build up. If you jump on the elliptical for 25 minutes a day, uh, five days a week for like, you know, two months, you're going to be in a completely different place in that, in that, uh, at the end of that two months. So I completely 
uh, suggest doing that. That's that's the first thing. If you have lower back pain and you're not moving your legs at all, do that. Okay. Again, you can go walk outside on your own. Walk for a couple miles. Uh, I would say you know stick to a time frame uh, instead of doing miles. Maybe just start off uh, going for 20 to 30 minutes. You know, doing that four plus days a week. Uh, and and what you might have to do if you are actually going to follow this advice is for the first couple weeks um, you might have to walk one day rest for two days walk the other day rest for two days and build yourself up from there to be able to walk four days a week and you know I would suggest doing more than that uh, but that's going to be the start as far as helping fix your lower back pain right and it's Again, it seems kind of counterintuitive. Oh, you want me to fix my lower back pain, so you want me to go move around and walk more? What are you trying to do? Break me, Rob? <laughs> you know. I mean, again, talk to a doctor, right? I'm just letting you know what I did. And so this is what I did, and this is what I do now. Um, whenever I do have back pain, I, I, you will, if you see me in the gym, um, and you see me on an elliptical, that's because I'm having a flare up of back pain. Right, I use it. I just recently used it, which is why this is all on my mind right now. Is because I went out surfing, threw out my back like a, a month or two ago, and threw out my back really bad. And so that's where I went at this whole thing from a different area. And that's where I actually started on the stationary bike. I jumped on the stationary bike for like two to four weeks. I'm somebody that likes to run, I don't like being on a stationary bike. But I sat there on that stationary bike seven days a week uh, for about two weeks and until my back pain kind of subsided a little bit and my leg strength came up a little bit. And then I jumped on the elliptical for like um, a month and a half. And then recently now, I'm back to running a little bit. Um, and I'm surfing just fine. My back doesn't hurt anymore. For I can go surfing. I can run. I can lift weights all in the same day. And my back doesn't hurt. So... That's an accomplishment right there. Uh, so what I'm trying to tell you is, I forgot. <laughs> no, um, uh, but yeah, so get out there, jump on the elliptical. It's a first mover. Get your legs moving. That's the main thing is you got to start moving. If you're not moving and you have back pain, you have this chronic pain, start moving for a while. Do it for a few months. Again, if you haven't been doing it for a while, it might take you, you know, two to four months of continuously going on the elliptical for you to build up anything really or, or for you to really feel any sort of change. I mean, these things, when you're doing it the non-prescription drug way, when you're doing it the non-surgery way, when you're doing it, it sounds stupid to say, but quote unquote, the, the natural way, when you're doing it these ways, it takes a while, right? And it takes a lot of effort. It takes a lot of time. Um, so definitely don't go in there thinking that, oh, I'm going to jump on the elliptical. Two weeks later, I'm going to be great. Probably not going to happen. More than likely not going to happen. So just make sure you, uh, you're you looking at the time frame right. Uh, but that was one thing, right? Now, again, when you're not going the prescription drug way, when you're not going the quick fix way, uh, you have to do a lot more than just one thing. So First things first, get your legs moving, uh, get going, right? Start start doing something and have the goal in mind to be able to run at some point. Whether that takes you six months, a year, two years to start running, have that goal, all right? Cardio is huge. Uh, but so that's the first thing. Second thing, stretch. This is, um, I would say this, this might be, you, I might have to put the stretching in, in the front. Stretching might be the number one thing that you should do. The first thing that you should do is probably stretch. And um, and what I'm going to do, it's hard to talk about it right now, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a page on my website that has some back stretching exercises, the ones that I use. And, um, and it's a combination of stretching, a little bit of movement, um, but I've, I've mainly chalk it up to stretching it's slow movements um, but these things that I do uh, have worked it really opened up my hips opened up my lower back stretched out my lower back stretched out my legs 
And that, over time, has really been the thing that keeps my back in in line. It keeps my back strong, and it, it actually makes my back a little bit more stronger every single time I go in there and I do these uh, stretches and exercises. And I would say this is probably the like the number one thing that has helped out my lower back pain. And if you have lower back pain and you're not stretching at all, you're not doing any yoga, you're not touching your toes, you're not doing any of this, this has to be one of the first things to do that, that you should do. And it's the easiest. I mean, I hate saying it, but it is so when you think about it, it's, it's so easy. You don't need anything to stretch. You don't need. You don't even need a yoga mat. You don't. I mean, you can throw a towel down, or don't even throw the towel down. Go in your. Doesn't matter, right? You just have to. Right now, if you're listening to this, watching this on your phone, you put your phone down on your desk. You stand up. You walk two feet over, and guess what? You can stretch right there. You can try to reach your toes. So this has to be the first thing. Um, for many people, and I know for many people, especially if you're dealing with pain, and especially you haven't been exercising at all and you haven't stretched at all, you could be very far away from baseline as far as your stretching ability. And for my and for me, you know, I couldn't reach past the middle of my shins, right? My stretching ability was none. It was non existence. I had I was not flexible at all. Sitting cross-legged, you know, I could not do that at all. Um, You know, I couldn't even, like, get my legs into that position. And if I did force my legs into that position, it would last for, like, one to two seconds. And um, so I was very, very far away. Uh, But, you know, if if you are that far away like I was back then, I— just do what what I did and what I did was I just did what I could right so I would I'd be in the gym not like trying to touch my toes not being able to get past the middle of my shin and I would just sit there and showed up every day and kept on trying to reach farther and farther Um, and then over time you know I can just place my palms flat on the ground so and that's all it takes for stretching is you wherever you're starting at that's just where you're starting at okay so just keep on going and um you know don't be embarrassed about where you're at um i know it's hard to uh it's easy to say hard to practice but um but just go in there or or again just do it in your home right if you don't have to go to the gym just do it in your home start doing these stretches again i'll put a page up um for the different stretches and exercises i do Um, And just start doing those. Wherever you're at, start doing them. And then over time, you'll get better at it. um, And you'll be able to actually reach farther. And and that's where I think you're going to start. Once you start getting past the point, like if you're in a similar position where you couldn't reach, you can't reach that far. This is just one stretch. Do many different ones. But if you're in that position where you can't reach that far, you know, once you get past that point and you can like grab your toes and you can do these other stretches... That's where you really kind of, that's where you're going to see some difference, I believe, in the pain that you have in your lower back. I'm, I mean, just being able to stretch that far, move your body in the way um, that it's required for these stretches. I mean, that just, those um, help strengthen your back. So I think just doing those over time, again, it might take you a while, right? But but over time, those things, doing those things will help lower your back. Um, but yeah, so that's the number one thing I would say first start stretching do these both at the same time I would say uh, but if you're very far if you have to you know lose a few pounds as well Maybe you're just trying to kind of work your way into this whole thing um, You know start stretching and then start stretching and walking and then the final thing is Start doing some sort of resistance training, right? Start start picking up some weights, start doing those things. And, and then that's when the time frame starts. When you're starting to, when you're stretching and walking or running every day and lifting weights, you know, doing some sort of resistance training, that's when the time really starts. Do those three things, compound that over time. And I think uh, you're going to see some great results. I think that is really going to help alleviate your back pain. 
Um, and if you still have a whole bunch of pain back um, then, then go to the doc, right? Then go, but you should go to the doc to begin with. Again, I'm not trying to tell you to do anything crazy. Uh, but that's when you should really start looking into all the other different ways that you can possibly fix your back. Uh, but I, I would say, again, you know, this is just from my experience. As you've heard, right, laid up in a bed, can't, couldn't put weight on my shoulders at all right that's uh, to me that seems like um i'm sure there's you know worse cases of back pain uh but to me that seems like a pretty extreme uh case of bad back pain right and and also chronic you know the the pain like chronic pain all day every day uh for a long time and and um even doing and especially doing these stretches and resistance training um, so again, I'm just telling you that's where I was and I did these things. I, I stretched, ran, walked, elliptical, stationary bike, um, lifted weights, did all these things, um, compounded over time. Uh, and now I can put weight on my shoulders, right? That's great. You know, I can squat, which is crazy. Um, I can run, which is amazing. And I can uh, stretch, you know, I can grab my toes, I can do all these different types of stretches, move my legs in ways that I didn't even think I could do ever. You know, I could sit with my legs crossed just fine and it feels great now when I, when I sit with my legs crossed, reach forward, stretch out the back. All that feels amazing now. And as far as chronic pain, uh, really none. They're, the only thing that it kind of comes up is um, is sometimes if I surf too much um, or usually if I if I work out um, work out for a little bit and then I surf too much all in the same day um, which surfing is a whole bunch of popping up pushing up bending the back like in this weird way so it's under to me it's understandable right the fact that that I went from all this pain and then now there's like a little tinge of pain when I do this too much, when I push myself a little bit too much, and then it goes away after I stretch. Um, to me, that's understandable, but that's about the extent of it, right? Going from that, right, going from that that dark place uh, <laughs> to to a point to where I can do these things. I mean, it definitely changes a lot of things. I'm I'm, I'm hesitating to say it's a life changer, uh, but kind of is right and and for anybody who has lower back pain you know it it just saps your your energy it saps your drive you know it it makes you feel so weak and and so I know that feeling and and it's hard to be in that place where where all your energy is sapped like that and and you feel so weak because it's such a pivotal point if you have lower back pain especially around the spine you know, it really does feel like, I, I remember, I would just uh, liken it to glass, my back felt like, like shattering, like, like breaking glass, you know, and um, I always thought about that movie with Samuel L. Jackson, I don't know the name of it, where he was like, his bones were glass or something, I can't even remember, I barely watched it, but I just remember he like fell down the stairs, and I don't know, but you know, I just felt like this weird it just felt like this very weak position, and it's such a horrible place to be at. Um, so, so I get that you know some of you listening right now might be like, "What is this guy talking about? It's all nonsense." Well, look, it may work, it may not work for you. I just suggest that if you do have lower back pain, uh, start doing these things. First thing, start stretching. Uh, go on my website, uh, liftrunstretch.com, or don't. All right, this isn't like a plug. Really, you don't have to go to my website. Just Google search lower back pain exercises, lower back pain stretches. Do those, okay? So you don't have to go to my website, but do it if you want. Go there, start doing these stretches, start doing these exercises. Maybe a month, a couple months down the road, start. A, go jump on an elliptical. Maybe a couple months after that, jump on a treadmill, start walking couple months after that start running um, and then throw in weightlifting in there somewhere right 
and that's kind of the progression that you should expect. This can take a long time, um, but but at the end of it, uh, it could be very beneficial for you. Again, going from the point of having a lot of back pain to no back pain is pretty wild. And, um, you know, and back pain also has all the other craziness with it as far as prescription pain pills. You know, thankfully, I've never been attracted to those things. I never, I don't even know if I've ever had one. Um, but I don't want them, right? So, but it's so easy to go down that route when you're, when you have pain all day, every day, right? So, so that's, again, this is why I'm making this podcast. I don't know who's listening to this, uh, but if you want more information, um, I could do a better job at, at relaying this information and maybe I can do another podcast on this and, um, talk more about it. Uh, this is something that I just kind of threw together today, um, um, you know what? I might do another one that's more structured later on. Uh, but yeah, just hit me up if you have other questions about it. Uh, go on the website if you want to see the exercises. This thing will be released on Wednesday. Um, let me try to get that page up and I'll put it in the description of wherever you're listening to this. Um, and go check it out. But the website's liftrunstretch.com. Um, and yeah, and I think that's it for today, right? I think so. All right. So if you have lower back pain, again, simple steps, stretch, run and lift. Hey, the name of the website is lift, run and stretch. Who would have thought? Look at that quinky dink right there. <laughs> All right. But yeah, I would just say, I would just say, do that again. It's a long journey. Don't think this is going to be quick. It's a long journey, and it it's a painful journey as well. But you're already going through pain. You're you go through pain every single day. If you have chronic back pain, if you have a bunch of back pain, you're already in pain. Okay, so while you're doing this, you, the pain might be, you know, the level of the pain might go up for a little bit. Whatever you can take, you can handle it. All right. Um, and again, the hope is to be in that Narnia stage or that you know, that, that wonderland of no back pain, which is not trying to brag, but which is where I'm at right now. Okay. My back, it feels good. I'm not in pain right now. Not in any pain right now. I feel good. I'm going to go. I just surfed yesterday for like two hours, getting back up, down, slamming my face against the, the sand, you know, just, just freaking, um, (laughs) look what I do. Just just smashing my body on the ground, flopping around, twisting around, um, all that, right? And and today, you know, once I'm done with this, I'm gonna go I'm gonna go work out, I'm gonna go pick up ninety pound dumbbells, I'm gonna go and it's not gonna be an issue. Okay, so I mean that should be the goal. I don't maybe you don't wanna, you know, work out at, at that level, maybe you don't care about surfing. But wouldn't it be nice if you could get out of your car without pain? Wouldn't it be nice for you not to run to the couch at the end of the day? Wouldn't it be nice for you not to be sitting in your chair just like, oh my God, the pain. You're just sitting there typing away at your desk, trying not to off yourself just because of the pain is so intense. You have like 10 pillows in your back. Wouldn't that be nice just to do these everyday things? Wouldn't it be nice to be able to pick up the groceries and not, uh, and just the compression from picking up the groceries pulling down on you? Wouldn't it be nice to not feel that, right? To be able to walk upstairs without any pain? I think that that would be nice. I mean, that's why I changed everything that I was doing around. And again, if you want to do it, I suggest doing these things. Stay away from the prescription pills, the drugs. Um, if you're to do anything, just take a whole bunch of CBD. That'll do. That'll do the trick, all right? Um, but yeah, that's the podcast. Again, it's November. I'm recording this on Tuesday. It's November third. It is the day of reckoning. It is the day everything either explodes or everything's gonna be fine. Who knows what's gonna go on? I think it's, I'm trying to be optimistic. I think it's going to be whatever. 
whoever wins. Um, but hey, maybe you're listening to this um, while you're, you know, trying to hose down your house because somebody lit it on fire right now. I don't know. I don't know what's going on in your life. <laughs> but, but no, everything's going to be cool. It is the holiday season. Uh, we've got Thanksgiving coming up. we got the Christmas, New Year's Eve. And then we are on to 2021. Hopefully 2021 is going to be a little less chaotic and hopefully everything goes well. But yeah, that's the podcast, right? Was it good? I don't know. I don't know. Um, the next one will be better, though. I'll tell you that. The next podcast will be better. This is like the 10th, 9th, 10th, or 11th episode. Moving on up. Right when I get about episode 20, that's when you're really, that's when this thing will be really going, all right? So, <laughs> either way, if anybody's listening now, again, I appreciate it. Thank you very much for listening. Um, share this around if you want. You know, again, I'm trying to grow this. I want a podcast studio right i want i want something um something nice so share this around all right all right everybody have a good one adios